Harry tutorial series. Uh, we came up with the new tutorial series, which we call as how to video series. Uh, in this video, we are going to understand that how can one set the typograph in the Barry. I'm going to cover three things here. First, that is font family. We have provided three default or three uh, different font families here. You can switch from one to another. But apart from that, if you want to apply some another font family, if you don't like those three, you can do that by uh, just changing one line of code. Second thing is that I'm going to explain how to set the typography. At some cases, you don't like the default typography that we provided. And if you want to change those typography, typography like uh, change the font weight and styles and kind of that thing, you can do those by uh, setting the typography in the typography file. I'll explain that uh, in the code itself. And third thing is, which is uh, style overrides. Uh, MUI provides a common way to override some of the component styles, but uh, we can override those styles from as per our requirement. So if you, for instance, don't like that, uh, let's say if you don't like a font in the button, you want to make it more bold, then you can just do, just change the single line of code and that change will apply to everywhere in your projects. So let's begin. Let's dive into the code and let's see how it works. So, I'll walk through first how it's working in the live environment. So here we have a customizer or switcher. We have provided three font family Roboto pop-ins in the inter. This switcher or this uh, customizer will not be available in the uh, uh, skeleton version. So I'm going to show that how you can change those. So when I change from Roboto to pop-ins, you can see the effect here. If I change the inter, you can see the effect here as well. So those font family has been changed. So if I do inspect, you can see that font family has been changed to intern. See, here, yeah, font family is inter sans serif. So this is three uh, typography we have provided. I'll show that how can we change default to inter. But you can pick any uh, any typography or any font family you, if you want. So in the code, uh, I have a config.ts here. So let me collapse this first. In the SRC, I have a config.ts. Here, Roboto is being used as a default. And this is my skeleton version. So if I go to my sample page here, localhost 3000 sample, this is... If I inspect this, this is the Roboto font family, which we can see here. See here. I want to change this. I don't like Roboto. I want to change this to the inter throughout the project. So what I'll do, I'll just pick the font family like this. I'll, oops, I'll just copy this line, copy. I'll go to uh, srcconfig.ts and I'll change this to mm, inter. I'll save it. It does compile. And then if I refresh or if I think, if I refresh my local page, See, it's already applied here. You can see that inter has been applied as a font uh, family here as well here everywhere. So this is as much as simple. Every font in your project will be uh, switched to inter or whatever fonts you want. So let's now move to the second point, how to set the typography. Now, for instance, if you don't like this, that this font uh, is very light and you don't want to do this, you want to make this a little bit bolder. So how can you do that? So I'll just go to that sample page like here. If you can see here, the typography variant used as a body too. So I'll go to theme and then typography, find body two over here, right? So if you can see those uh, four properties has been applied. 
So wherever the body two has been used, those pro four property uh, will automatically apply throughout the process. Here, the font weight is 400. For instance, let's say I want to make it very bold. I'll just change it to the 900. I'll save it. We can see this will be uh, very bold. Previously, font weight was 400. Once it's compiled, then it will be font weight will be 900. Yes, yeah, so it's a 900 here. Uh, let me refresh so that that was the if I inspect this specific element I can see 900 so wherever the body 2 has been used by this way everywhere you can change it so uh, the couple of instances like uh, if I search here as a body 2 so in the landing page, subscribe, slide, everywhere the content is there. So if I check the landing page here, if I refresh, yeah, this is body too. So that's why it's getting bolder to 900. So that's how you can change the typography. There are a couple of other things like here. If you see, there are many typography we have set. So I'll say X5 up to H1 and then subtitle, caption, body 1, body 2 and the button. So those kind of typography has been set here. You can change property or apply property, CSS property, whatever you would like and make change everywhere in the projects. So I hope I, hope I clear how to set the typography. Um, now let me move on to the overriding the MUI components. So for instance, let's say in the landing page, I have a button like this purchase now button or library uh, I don't like this font weight and uh, I want to apply those things everywhere uh, in my project throughout the project wherever this button is being used so what I'll do I'll just go to component style override I'll find the button which is MUA button here if you see font weight is being used as a 500 by default. So whatever button is being used as an MUA button or that, is, that will render as an MUA button in your project, uh, that style pick these things. Font weight will be picked from here, 500 and border radius. Uh, this file exists in this SRC theme and then component style override. So as a side note, whatever styling and the design that is being used in the entire application, that's being managed from the single place, which is themes. So palette is used for the palette generation, shadows, and then this is types, uh, TypeScript types, and the typography, and this is component style override. So more than 90% of work uh, that is being common, that can be managed from the themes itself. So uh, for any styling related stuff, uh, theme is the source of this truth. So let me go back to the MUI button. Uh, I want to change the font weight to again 900 and if I save it okay it's uh, saved it's looking for cash this button weight has been changed from 400 to 900. So that is being applied everywhere. See, this is MUA button, this is MUA button. So wherever the MUA button is being used, that will be, uh, font weight will be changed from the 400 to 900. So this font weight has been changed. So you can add some more properties here as well, whatever you want. Like this border radius, uh, here it is four pixels. I want to make it very rounded, so I'll increase it up to the 15 pixels. And I'll just wait for this thing to render. So this border radius will be changed 4 pixels to 15 pixels. So if I go to, okay. Okay, it's waiting. Yeah, see, this is getting a rounded button. So you can play around with it, whatever styling you want. It's very flexible to use, very uh, minimal changes required to do. 
same as MUA button, we have other controls like MUA pepper and then MUA car header, car content, list item button, whatever styles we are applying or whatever Barry is providing the custom styling that's being override from here itself. So this is source of truth for the styling change of the MUA components. Whatever you want to change, just change it here. It will apply across the project. So I hope I cover uh, the entire typography section. We saw that how can you change the font family from the config.ts itself. You can change this one line and change the typography. Then we saw that how can you override the default typography. We saw that in the body too. Uh, we just changed from 400 to 900. You can do the same from other and apply the typography. And then finally we saw that how can we uh, override the existing styling component of the MUI and uh, apply it across the project. So whatever change you will do for these three things that will be applied across the project. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.